Of course, I am a ghost. The title of the story gives that away. But don't worry. I am not here to scare the shit out of you. It is the human perception of ghost that is wrong. I became ghost because I committed suicide by jumping off the building of my roof when I was 25. I had worked my ass off for the last 10 years from my high school to the first 3 years of my job ignoring everything else in my life hoping it was the right way. Then I realized I had not many friends. I was not close to my parents. I had no one to share things with. Almost everyone wanted me to take a 25 year loan and buy a small house to provide a stable life to them. Well, no one was inter- interested in me. So I thought I might as well die. At least my pain would go away. Well, I was the brave one. who did things as that decided so i actually did it i jumped off my building as it was an unnatural death i was told by the death and birth department that until my natural time of death i would not be given an opportunity to take birth again or to move to my next phase that's how you actually become a ghost it is just the waiting launch before you board your flight for the people who have come too early to the airport and it has a very limited access you do not have a body so you can't smell taste or touch or feel i still don't know how we are able to see and hear things maybe that's what we needed to do when we were alive see and hear things for what they are you can roam around but there is only so much you can see and hear and also they have this weird rule that if you are not at this place at your actual time of death they cannot process you and so you are always trapped at this ghost stage after inquiring i came to know i had a still 60 years left as ghost i started roaming around the world but it felt like a torture because i could not feel the chill of the snow the calm of the breeze smell of the spring and the hotness of the summer i could only see things but could not touch and feel anything soon i realized i was able to see and hear things only to realize what i was missing it was like scrolling insta at 2 am in the morning i stopped going out and went back to my home i stayed there waiting for my day I saw all the families that came to stay there. I saw my mother grow old and die alone. But I could not do anything because I had died. It's strange how she was able to feel my presence around. I missed that pain which I was so eager to get rid of. It was difficult, but I felt it. What could I do now? And I waited and waited.